Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Cloud Wars Minute, our daily news and commentary show, where if you give us a few minutes, we're going to give you some unique insights into the greatest growth market the world has ever known. In the booming market for industry cloud, Salesforce is by far the number one player. I'm wondering here if SAP or Oracle has any intentions about toppling Salesforce out of that number one spot. I've got a few ideas for how they might do that, but they need to move very quickly and they need to move very aggressively. I think what's going to happen in 2021 is this incredibly hot industry specific solutions market really takes hold is a lot of the big applications vendors are going to start to fuse or meld a lot of the capabilities they have in their traditional LOB applications into their industry specific apps. And conversely, they'll take some of the very cool new uh, industry specific purpose built tools and put those into their traditional LOB apps like ERP, HCM, and CRM. So I think that is absolutely going to happen. The big three companies, all three of these, are starting to do some of that. And we're seeing other companies do it as well. So the interesting play here is Salesforce is only in the CRM space. As big as Salesforce is and as successful as it is, the company's top executives regularly say one of the reasons for our success is that we've stayed very focused on CRM. SAP and Oracle, on the other hand, are in all of the three big categories, not just CRM, but also HCM and ERP. So if this move is really taking hold of this fusion or this crossover between uh, LOB apps, traditional ones, and these new industry-specific purpose-built apps, then SAP and Oracle have a much broader playing field. They've got bigger portfolios. They can leverage this more aggressively. But Salesforce is way out in front. Their industry cloud business is on a $3.2 billion run rate. That's far bigger than anybody else's. So if SAP and Oracle hope to have a shot to deploy this strategy to get after Salesforce, they better do it very quickly. They better do it in a very aggressive fashion. They don't have any time to waste, you know, as so often is the case in the cloud wars, the time is now. So, um, I think what we would have to see here from both SAP and Oracle is a very determined effort across the board. Instead of having separate business units for industry cloud and their traditional applications, I think they've got to move in some way, either organizationally and certainly in the development teams, to get those, those uh, two currently fragmented units working together more closely than ever before, more aggressively than ever before. Remember, when Salesforce about 18 months ago, acquired uh, an industry cloud company called Velocity for $1.33 billion. They made the co-founder of that company the chief product officer for all of Salesforce. So they've put that industry-specific thinking at the top of their company. If SAP and Oracle are going to have a chance to topple Salesforce in this field, they've got to act right now. They can't delay, and they've got to do it very decisively. Thanks for being with us here at Cloud Wars Minute. I hope you have a fantastic day.